The Source FM 96.1 Breakfast It's just gone 7 o'clock in the morning The Source FM The Breakfast Show Good morning, good morning. It is exactly 10 minutes past 7. It's Friday the 13th of May. Here's a summary of the news. The EU naval mission to ta- travel. Nothing to report. Roads are clear. Ferries are fine. Trains are fine. It's all... The world is bright and it's Good morning, good morning. It is 18 minutes past seven on the Source FM Repka Show. I'm Jules Powers. That was Muddy Waters with Gypsy Woman. Friday the 13th of May, it is British Sandwich Week, National Donut Week, for some reason. Sun Awareness Week, Skin Care Awareness Week, they should really get together. Action for Brain Injury Week, and it'll be Museums at Night Weekend coming up. And further afield, Lucy Spragan is playing the watering hole in Perrampoff. Loads of features news coming up later in the show, and for now, uh, here is... Uh, <laughs> Cinturano Temele. I think I gave that a decent shot. The Source FM 96.1. The Breakfast Show. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. 26 minutes past seven. Aurora with Conqueror. It's Friday, hurrah. Friday the 13th of May. Michael Crawford says he's terrified as he prepares to return to the West End stage for the first time in five years at the end of this month. Crawford says it's the biggest role he's ever played on stage and he was worried he wouldn't be able to remember it all. Am I going to do... Yeah, I am. (laughs) It's bizarre and wonderful. I think it's probably late 19th or early 20th century. Somebody might well ask in the area of thirty to $50,000 for this. However, it was later revealed by a friend of the Jugs... I'm sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> by a friend of the Jugs creator uh, who saw it on telly that the jar, with the vase rather, was made for a high school ceramics project in the 1970s by a teenager. PBS has since corrected the Jugs value on their website and revised it down slightly. Apparently, they still value it at $5,000. The school project, I think it's possibly more to save face than actual worth. Well, it's famous now. Maybe it is worth 5000 Anyway, that's your entertainment news. <laughs> Are you not entertained? That rambling nonsense. Here's Kelly Clarkson with Heartbeat Song. Good morning, good morning. It is 20 to 8 on Friday the 13th of May. It's the Source FM Breakfast Show. I'm Jules... More importantly, uh, tonight is Battle of the Bands Cornwall taking place at the Princess Pavilion. On Sunday, the race for life around Falmouth begins. More information on that is on 0300 132 0770. It's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. Source FM News. Good morning. Contrary to our jingle, it is exactly 8 o'clock on Friday the 13th of May. Hello. 
The showers will die out if they arrive, I suppose, to leave a dry night with variable cloud and clear intervals. It will turn chillier by dawn as cool air spreads southwards, southeastwards. And on the roads, rail and uh, ferries, it's all green. No problems at all. All smooth as a baby's bum out there. News updates, etc. coming up later. Here is John Newman and come and get it. Beyonce featuring Jack White. Don't you hurt yourself. Up next, our first play of Underworld's brand new album. This is If Ra. So tonight, Avro Part is uh, performing at Truro Cathedral. And Lucy Spragan is playing the waterhole in Perrinporth. Weekend, of course, Sunday, you got the race for life. Then Cliff Row, Castle Drive and Pendennis Rides. They're going to be closed from 10.30 till 12.30. 20 past eight on The Breakfast Show. Good morning. Jules Powers here with you till nine. This is Daya, so it still look pretty. Melby, Emma and Jerry are poised to release a new record later this year, exactly 20 years after Wannabe hit the chart. Oh my god. Some sort of mistake, surely. 20 years? Dear lord, this has been a, god, sadly, a kind of fairly long-running story. We talked about this before. Sheridan Smith. Um, it's been announced that she'll be now taking a two to four week leave of absence from the West End production of Funny Girl due to stress and exhaustion. So Natasha Barnes will be taking the role of Funny Bryce until Sheridan returns. Uh, she's been covering Sheridan in, in the role since, uh, well, since the problems began, really. So hopefully, hopefully Sheridan will sort things out. I'm sure she'll get back on Earth. Hey, there's no way without you. Doing. You're listening to The Breakfast Show with Jules Paris on Source FM 96.1. Uh, this is um, Soif Kunjali with Kuzenzi Congo. He said mangling yet another band name she doesn't understand. Weather today, any early low clad will tend to break up and leave to give us another warm day across Falmouth with a good deal of sunshine. Hooray! Marvellous of Friday. Coming on next, you've got Pirate Pete at 9, uh, 11. You've got Laurie with Making Paper Boats. And uh, coming up at 1, you've got uh, Eddie Callis with What's That, Mr. Ed? Doing Gecko with Overdrive, Oliver and Heldens, and Becky Hill. It's A42 on the Breakfast Show. Got a throwback three coming up next. Carla Thomas, I think he does. I kind of think he does. Followed by Martha and the Vandellas. Love is like. Good morning, good morning. It's 10 to 9 on The Breakfast Show on Source FM. I'm Jules Paris. That was a throwback three. 
we played, I kind of think he does, Carla Thomas on Stacks. Up next, Christine and the Queens with Tilted. French band. Enjoy Race for Life this weekend. I'll be handing over to Pirate Pete. And I will talk to you on Tuesday. The Source FM 96.1 The Breakfast Show. Thank mm-hmm. you.